Well, so JSW steel does not seem to go up. Uh, we can take a sell trade over here in JSW steel. Okay, so we would like to sell JSW steel. There's five minute huge volume, try to go up, selling comes by, and he's not going up anymore. So keep a small trade in JSW steel. Here we are. Selling is also higher than the buying pressure which has happened over here. So a small trade has been taken, so not going aggressive right now. We'll wait and watch how it moves. Okay. And if it goes obviously higher than 725 or so, we'll exit our trade. But technically, it should not if it has to go down. So if it has to go down, it has to go on the downside and not go higher. Wait and watch. 724. Everything is struggling. Trying to go up as well. So let's see. Right here, selling and he tries to go up. I mean, selling, trying to go up. If it does not and goes down, we'll sell more below the max all the way. And it can basically come down a little bit worse. 14. Kind of so let's see what's happening once it goes above 25, 24 or so. We would like to exit as of now. It is showing some strength of downside. It should not go higher than 24.6. So we wait and watch as we have taken a small trade just to have a flow in mind. We will become aggressive only below this zone or the downside. And then we wait and watch. And no re of selling pressure is there. And see JSW still kind of flat, at least a little bit of selling coming by from the top over here. <coughs> which is a good sign, but as I said, it has to make a new low and if it makes, it can go towards 713 very fast uh, around this zone, on the lower edge, 10 to 13 zone. But even obviously, Tata Steel also undergoes a bit of selling pressure, then only this can become quite possible. So let us, let him make a new low, let him try to go back up, then we can sell not in a hurry to sell as of now. If you see on a smaller time frame, he tries to come back down right over here. He takes some support. Again, selling comes by. Unable to go higher, take some support. Again, comes down. The good part is not going above 724. So that's the first thing in JSW Okay, And the second part is strong selling has happened, which is like more than two times the buying volume which happened over here. So that's again a second pointer which is this. So here it is trying to go down. So here on the bounce, we are interested to now sell more on JSW Steel, which is very, very important. So now we can clearly see here it goes 17 and not comes to 18 or 19. We are interested to sell. Right over here it goes. Let it come with a bounce. We can be interested to sell over here. Here it is 17.7 .7 or so. There's some disturbance today in the price fee. It's not jumping up and the max follow y is also there around 19 to 20 zone. So if you want more trade, if it does a small bounce up, it will be fantastic for us. If it goes a little bit up, up over here, we can sell more. Because we know our target will be around 713 to 12 so on. So coming around in the above zone, we are interested to sell around 18, 19. It's showing some strength, and I am very clear that it will come through around 18, 19. So it has to come through. Small bounce activity should take place. It is now one below the zone. That's also a good sign. So around this 19, as it tries to go back up, we can also sell a little more. It's not giving us a chance. That's completely okay. We did not take a lot of risk in this trade and we were very clear what we were trying to do. That's nice. So was, I think we just took the trade value was only 50,000. So that means 1% is 500. Maybe obviously 500 is not much, but the structure and understanding is equally important. Most important is to understand the structure, the flow, huge selling pressure which was there. All those points are equally important over here. You can 
clearly see the kind of selling which is coming through right till the bottom right over here so now if we think it's fine we want to exit our trade yes so you see you can just press exit and your position is fixed okay so here we are position is closed so we had only one position to trade yes to boost the small profit on that side but a good one knowing the structure of our stock nifty undergoing a sharp sell i think reliance will be the mover now here it is we can even go for a sell on reliance small trade on reliance and if it tries to go up we are again interested to sell let's see now reliance is also on the sell side as we have taken a trade the reason is nifty has gone down it has taken this down yesterday close yesterday high all is in breach now if it tries to go back up i feel we can again undergo <coughs> little bit of sell over here and the bounce i feel that it can come down towards 2111 kind of zone so let it come up even in the bounce we will try to sell a little bit on reliance <clears throat> and if it does not give us a chance fine enough whatever we have position we will not do it but i feel that some bounce activity will take this so sharp movement in nifty straightly from the upside you can see a sharp move on the downside that's not good same in bank nifty as if something has hit the counter you can see just the steel struggling now not going down <clears throat> here the structure seems to be good the only difference here is there was a good up move over here so strong support base has been built on this side and that's what is stopping the lines to fall further so we are not in sharp movements are happening so we are not in hurry to take the trade we will wait not going up not giving us a chance to sell more so we are not interested to go down and aggressively sell over here So the problem is strong support base which is there in this area. So taking a small trade, we hold on to that, which will not obviously affect much of our PNL, just to be inside the trade. Second, let's see the other things. Just to be still coming right at the top again. Sharp up move can be seen on just to be still. Now another way to trade this is uh, we have already got some profit, and if it is trying to reach up back to the top, you can sell here when it comes back again. To a small downside around 15, 16, so on. Maybe not towards the low. You can even exit over here. But generally, the first advantage moving, and then you are trying to sell more is the best. Reliance trying to go back up at this point, trying to do a small reversal. So we can sell a little bit of reliance more on the bounce. So let's sell some reliance. Okay, so on the reliance now we have forty six. That's one lakh worth of reliance which we are trying to sell. That's completely good. The agenda is here. We knew some bounce will come. He's trying to go back up, but he should not go higher than this. And again, the selling pressure should come on reliance. <clears throat> so we'll wait and watch. Not a very big trade on reliance. On reliance, now we can exit our trade as well. It doesn't seem to be moving down anymore. We'll wait for some time. If it makes a new low, below 19 or so, then it can go further down. That we need to watch. Right now, it is kind of slow and sideways. No action as such. Just a boost in coming to the top again. Selling is happening on the same zone. We'll trade. So here it is. Reliance is trying to go down. <clears throat> so that clearly shows a lot of selling pressure is there on Reliance over here. So it's trying to go down, but we cannot expect a big downside unless Nifty cracks down. So if Nifty cracks down, we are very clear Reliance will be also the one to go down, which can come in this area maximum. So another ten points fall is quite possible on Reliance. The structure was very clean. DR was there, WR was there, VSL line was there, and then it was trying to go below this. It went even below the yesterday close zone, but it will become a slow move. Here it is, and here is where we were looking out to sell on the bounce, which has shown strength on the downside. The red band and the dotted lines clearly tells me that yes, <coughs> selling pressure is there, and it can go down. 
let's wait and watch since we are already in the trade we will not want to hurry and exit might be little profit is there see agenda is whenever you are having profit you keep holding it maximum what will happen the price will come back to the top you will lose your profit that's okay and but you can extend the profit we know that this is the strong buying zone once it breaks it can come all the way towards 107 kind of zone and because of this 107 kind of zone over here you can basically extend your profit any which ways so let's hold and wait and watch what exactly happens over here but the selling pressure seems to be strong i think nifty is also undergoing a bit of selling yes we try to go back up selling has come by right over here so a lot of dotted lines are there which clearly tells me that that lot of pressure is there on the buyer line side as well so it's not only the sellers who are trying to push down but also the buyers are trying to push on the upside which can be clearly seen but unable to do so so the bank is kind of stuck at 18 19 kind of so we'll wait and watch but it becomes a little difficult as i said this is a strong support zone so it's risky but we'll wait for 25 to be breached we are not in a hurry small loss is fine but we can have to wait for this trade so the lines not giving a budge on the downside strong down move trying to hold on to this area but we need one more downside but it's only possible if it cracks down but the idea here as i said reversal comes down again reversal so strong up move has come in the prior area so here it might go under a bit of selling one more time but very difficult <clears throat> for it to go down seems less likely but the red band dotted lines all of them are suggesting that it can be Down. Let's wait and watch. We are already in the trade, right over here. No profit in loss, so that's okay. So we would like to wait, but good support range is there. And Nifty, if it is bouncing back, then it becomes difficult for Reliance also to here it is. So we can even exit Reliance now because if Nifty is so I exited Reliance, small loss. That's okay. Scratch the trade. Because I do not see the sluggish movements. Whenever it is happening, it's better to exit. So two trades for today. One was JSW Steel and Reliance. If we do any base violation trades in the afternoon, we'll let you know. Uh, rest we did not take heavy trade today because, as I said, market were opening slight on the sideways, and JSW Steel was a good counter to sell, but then it did not give us a chance. to add more my doing a small reversal over here then i could have added more and would have made a decent size in js domestic so that's okay uh, so that's it from my side thank you for joining me